This specific one does not have the trailer tow package directly from the factory. So you could definitely add something in aftermarket, but one of the big benefits of doing it from the factory, you're gonna be able to pull up to 3,500 pounds. And that doesn't matter if you're in the two liter or the 2.7 liter, they're both rated for the same 3,500 pound towing if you get the tow package from the factory. If you do something aftermarket, like you get a U-Haul install, whatever the case may be, you're gonna be limited to about 1,500 pounds in comparison. So if you're just doing a bike rack carrier, you could go aftermarket, but for like 100, 200 bucks extra, with the trailer sway control and the few other things you get, it might be just be worth doing it from the factory instead. Now the lift gate itself is a completely different story because we've got the option of either a power or a manual lift gate, and we've got foot activated power there. So inside of the Edge SE and the SEL, default is going to be a manual liftgate. Inside of the Titanium, the ST, you are looking at a power liftgate instead, and we've got foot-activated power. So I'm not using my foot, but if we were, we could literally swipe underneath it, as you see there, foot-activated power. But let's swing you around so you can take a peek at the cargo dimensions. All right, so this is the trunk area of the 2022 Ford Edge. Now this is the titanium model, but it doesn't matter if you're in the titanium or if you're in the base SE trim level, the spacing inside of these things are gonna be the exact same. So cargo dimensions for the loading area specifically are going to be showing up, and we do have a few different options that are available. Now, one of the cool things is that depending on the trim level that you're in, we also do have the flexibility of being able to power release these seats. So if you wanted to fold down one seat or the other, you've got the flexibility to do it. And that's just along our left-hand side. So moving down, we've got a 12 volt power point. And then we do also have a left versus a right release. So we can literally just press and hold and watch that. Down it goes. But look at the difference in the cargo dimensions, specifically the depth when we've got that second row folded down. So there is plenty of space in the back of this thing. And as I mentioned, we do have the flexibility of folding down one side or the other if we want to. And if you take a look just behind the back seat, so the second row seats in the back, we do also have our anchor and tether point. So we do have across both, well, all three seats technically, we've got all of our anchors there and then just underneath the seat. So if you've got front or rear facing car seats, you're not gonna have an issue setting either of those up inside of this vehicle. But a few things to point out, if we look just off to the left of the right hand side, we do have some spots in the back there because we could set up a privacy shade if we want to. That's available either from the factory, aftermarket as a dealer option, so you've got some options there. And then we do have some different speakers and things like that because we've got a few different options for the speaker setup, which we'll get down to in a moment. Because we're in the Titanium, we do have a Bang & Olufsen 12 speaker setup. But moving down, we do have this tray that is completely removable. Ugh, out it goes. <laughs> and taking a peek underneath. So we do have a boatload of storage space back there. We've got a left versus right storage side, and you can easily toss some things in there. We do have our white spigot that we're gonna use if we ever need to use a jerry can to fill up this vehicle. On top of that, we do also have our mini spare tire, and that is a mini spare tire, but one little caveat. That's going to be standard in Canada versus it's an optional feature when we look at the state. So, I mean, you could get it at time of ordering from the factory, but it is nice to know that it's available there as an option. And then just easily pop this thing back in. Ah, up it goes. And ooh, one other thing to point out, if we kind of move down a little bit, we do also have our cargo net hooks. So we've got two down below, and then we've got two up high by the sides there. So if we wanted to install some cargo nets and things like that, we've got the flexibility to easily be able to do it. And then we can just kind of make out along the left side a little storage space. Same thing just along that passenger side. So a little bit of storage space in the back there also.